Kids Museum has a fun and very interactive way to learn about nature and of course the weather. Meteorologist Sabrina Bates took a field trip and teaches us about tornadoes in this week's A Science with Sabrina. We're taking a road trip for this week's science lesson. I'm actually headed inside the museum. We're going to go take a look at all the different science things, but my favorite is the touchable tornado. Let's go take a look. The Scott Family Museum is filled with curiosity and fun. As you walk through, there's science all around you and so much exploration to do. We visited the Nature and Weather Center, which has many ways to teach us about how our Earth works. And like I said, my favorite part is the touchable tornado. When you look at this tornado from far away, it's a funnel that forms, dissipates, and then reforms. But I took a closer look. Water vapor is released from the bottom. There's a fan at the top that pulls in any air from below. The strong enough pull upward or an updraft causes the water vapor to start to form a funnel. The water vapor fills in the gap of the rotating air from the bottom to the top. Now I'm inside the tornado machine where the air from the ground is being sucked up into the cloud. Now you can visually see it because all the water vapor is forming a funnel. Now this is similar to how a tornado forms. Here's a little bit more science on how a tornado develops. Strong winds at the surface and a loft in our atmosphere form a horizontal rotating column of air. A strong updraft in a thunderstorm will cause that rotating column to become vertical. This could eventually form a wall cloud, a funnel, or even a tornado if it reaches the ground. A disruption in the atmosphere can change this, and we saw a similar change with the touchable tornado when I moved my hands through it. Learning about science where you live, I'm 5 News meteorologist Sabrina Bates. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, it's so much fun. That's why you have kids to take right, them there. Exactly. For more information on visiting this educational place, visit our website, 5newsonline.com.